Bonjour fellow citoyens du monde, moi c'est Jordan Patrick et bienvenue sur ma chaîne. I'm going to make another franglais video um, because in one of my latest videos, La Rentrée des Vacances, uh, I'm going to put the link up above, but with a friend, I went to go have a coffee and we started talking about a vide grenier. It's a flea market and we're going to be selling a lot of stuff tomorrow. It's going to be a really long day. We're starting at 6 a.m. and we won't finish till the afternoon. The goal is to see how much we can sell. So on y va, c'est parti. So I'm mainly going to be selling clothes and then just try to kind of clean out my closet a little bit and live a little bit more minimalistically. I did another video, Minimalistic Packing, which I'll link up above as well. So much clutter. I'm also going to be selling some old like electronics and, and things that I just don't need. It's a good way to kind of clean the brain, clean the house. So we'll see how much I sell. I'm pretty excited, but lots of work to be done. J'en ai marre déjà et j'ai pas encore. And this hat is like so American. Bass Pro Shop is known for being like a fishing store and like all these outdoor activities and I love it. But now that I have short hair, it's like I don't need hats anymore. So yeah, I'm gonna try to sell this. It would probably take like someone who really likes American culture to want to buy this hat, but let's see what we got. Okay, so as a businessman, I'm gonna do my best to sell as much as I can. And that includes a marketing strategy, which mine is in American in France. So I'm going to offer a free American cookie with each purchase. And so I purchased these 30 cookies for only 15 euros, and I'm gonna be selling goods for about two euros, five euros, 10 euros. And so I should make that back pretty easily. And then I'm gonna have a stereo, I'm gonna be playing music so we can attract some people. I think it's gonna be great. I, I really like my strategy. I have some posters that I made at work that, and so yeah, I'm going hard like gotta think like a businessman and let's get some money. Okay, so we're here at Place de la Motte. I'm super happy. I just got the cookies, 30 cookies, 15 euros. Great deal. And I just love the place. Les L behind there. So yeah, okay, let's get back home. And then we gotta start preparing what we're gonna sell. 11 minutes later. Cela, c'est un autre t-shirt que j'adore parce que c'est la France avec les deux étoiles là. Mais en fait, c'est trop petit parce qu'après que je les... Uh... Love it. After I washed it, it shrank so much. Um, so this little medium might as well say XS. And because we are in France and this is like a national French shirt, like this is one that I have to mark up a little bit, maybe at like eight euros. I would love to keep it. I love this shirt so much, but it's just way too small for me now. So two hours later. Okay, so I've made some good progress over the last two hours. Um, so now I have everything arranged on my bed. I really want to sell all this stuff. I want it to go bye bye. <laughs> I don't want to have this stuff anymore. So anything that I don't sell, I'm going to put on Vinted and I'll put the link down below uh, of this video because I'm going to put it online like right away, whatever I don't sell. So if you're interested in buying any of these things, I'll probably mark it down even further and put it online just trying to get rid of this stuff and become more minimalistic. I got the car pretty much all packed up and then I had to go to the store to get like smaller coins and stuff so that if people are paying in cash, I'll have uh, the change ready for them. Now, I feel like I deserved a glass of wine so I'm gonna pour myself some wine and just kind of rest up because I have to be at the market tomorrow at 6 a.m. Yeah, be ready for a big day tomorrow. Early the next morning. Bonjour. Bon, il est presque 5 heures du matin. Je suis prêt de partir. Je viens de prendre la douche et je porte ce t-shirt. Uh, I don't know if you remember this shirt from the 4th of July in France video, but I'm going for that marketing strategy of American in France, like I said earlier. And so, gotta play the part. It's an early day. Let's get started. Ça, c'est pour ça, ça. Ça, ça vendre. 
<laughs> okay, so it's now around like 6.30 or something. I thought that they were gonna arrive here at six. So I've just been like on my computer, just organizing my next video for like the soiree part of the night in Montpellier for my last night there. Um, those of you who are wondering, Montpellier is there in the very south of France and Limoges is right here, smack dab in the middle. So we gotta go get set up. They're probably already set up and just waiting for my little ass to arrive. 20 minutes later. Okay, we are here. Okay. <laughs> On est là. On a déjà vendu des oui. choses. Qu'est-ce que t'as oui. vendu? Oh punaise, une espèce de robe de chambre. Jamais j'aurais mis ça de ma vie. Eh ben, ça a été ma première vente. Même ces habits ne partent pas. Ouais, et bah, et moi aussi, je viens de faire ma mon premier vente en petit ordinateur bah, que j'ai jamais utilisé. 32-0 avec aussi en portefeuille juste à jeter. Donc, c'était okay. cool. On vous et, attend! Uh, ah, we have to give a little tour yeah. of our yeah. station. Okay. Bah, tu, tu, tu viens pas avec moi? Ah. <rire> bon, on a bien situé là. Et tu vois les publicités ah, derrière. Oui. Regardez. Boutique américaine. Because okay. Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> Et on a tout ça en station. Tout a 10 balles, sinon je prends balles. <laughs> Alors, hein? Je crois que je vais lui acheter ça. Ah ouais. Mais bon. ouais, t'es toute me paix. Il veut me le vendre à 10, je le veux à 5. J'attends de voir. Bah ouais, hein? on, on verra. <laughs> on verra bien. <laughs> Bye. Il est quelle heure? 8h15. 8h15. Donc euh, on a toute la journée avant toutes ces choses-là. I love this new expression I just learned. Tout a dit balle, sinon je rends balle. I love it, it's too good. Alors, alors, quand même, ça s'accaille, c'est pas. Et ça, ça vend, évidemment. Obviously. Obviously, obviously. A few minutes later. So I just made my second purchase and it was three pants for 10 euros. Now I wanted to get 10 euros per pant but went down to five and then it was like two for eight and then three for ten so well I'm happy. A little longer than a few minutes later. Yay! Okay my third sell and I just sold two hats for six euros. So pretty good. I wanted to sell each one for five, but I accepted two for six euros. So eh, that's okay. Ça vend. Ça, ça vend. So I'm going to the side to talk about this because I don't want it to be like right in the open, like when I'm next to clients and things. Uh, so this is the first time I'm actually selling things and I'm the negotiator trying to sell things for higher price and then they combat it with something cheaper and etc. It's usually me on the other side of things and it's it's a little stressful I, I must say but it's nicer to have the power, you know. Well actually both sides have power because they could easily just walk away so yeah it's a learning curve and uh, yeah I'm starting to, to learn how to better negotiate and everything. Sometimes it's better not to put a price because then maybe it's too high for them from the beginning and they don't even want to talk or anything. So uh, yeah, this is a good experience and I'm learning a lot. So we're close to 50 euros sold. So, uh, and it's still pretty early. Gonna keep going all day, baby. Gonna try to sell all this crap. Cheers. Les lures de l'apéro. Samane, let's go. Uh, <laughs> Alors, I am selling all this stuff for 15 euros. He's going to go get some cash right now. 10 euro for the vest. Uh, thank. Mmm, we love mood feet. Bon. And we arranged our station a little bit. Because it makes more sense that all my shit is in the same spot. Tu vois? Can you hear this? 
Casa de Papel. I love Spanish series on Netflix. I think that they're the best. Uh, there's that one, there's Elite. There is, oh, what was that called? Toy Boy. That one was good. Yeah, there's so many. Anyways, we are more than halfway through with the day. I'm getting ready to like lower the price. Yeah, I've already lowered the price of t-shirts to two for five euro. Yeah, it's getting down to the home stretch. There's only a couple more hours left, so let's see how much left we can sell. But just a little update, I'm getting close to that 100. I'm really close actually. So that was the goal for today. And ooh, a poil de cul left. So let's let's go. Home stretch. We can do it. One hour later. And just when I was ready to pack things up, I just had a good sell where someone came and they were looking for a bunch of shirts, so I gave them a good deal. Well, 14 euros in gold, but it was six different t-shirts and then two like pairs of t-shirts that were like a group. So pretty good. And uh, yeah, we have maybe like two more hours to go and uh, we'll see if we can scramble to get the rest. But there seems to be less and less people that are walking around. Just people that are like really wanting stuff or just people looking. So it's kind of both sides. It's very different. Comment c'est passé? Ça s'est très très bien passé. On a vendu. Regarde, mais pas mal. Ouais, ça s'avance. Ouais, il n'y a quasiment rien presque. Il n'y a plus rien. Oui, franchement, super. Ouais, très bien fait. En dimanche productif. Il est 5h30, donc il est l'heure de rassembler tout. Bon, c'était une très bonne journée. On a beaucoup vendu. Quand je rentre chez moi, je vais calculer tout ce que j'ai vendu et soldé. Et je pense qu'on a dépassé les 100 euros. Mais restez là parce que on va voir très vite. Ok, so I'm back at home and I did the whole calculations with everything that I had sold. And so I was like, okay, so I should end up with exactly 108 euros. Now I look at my cash and I'm like, oh my gosh, this looks like so much more than 108 euros. But yesterday, having gone to get the change, um, I got 30 euros worth in just coins, which are one and two euros. I mean, I had given out pretty much all of those coins because people were coming with 20s. And I was like, uh, crap. <laughs> I didn't receive any five euros. I didn't receive any 10 euros. So it's like I was only paying people back with 20s because two people paid with 50s. Someone paid for something only for five euros and I gave them back 45 euros worth of change. But now when it's all said and done, I'm actually happy to have two 50s like that. And then I have three more 20s. Um, so yeah, it came out to pretty much right at 110. Must have sold something for, I guess, a couple extra euros that I didn't realize, but. So I finished with 110 euros. So I am a happy camper. My goal was 100 euros, so that's awesome. I also sold some of the things that were in my closet, so I made some space, it's really great. So I'm super happy with the results, and uh, yeah, it was so nice to spend some time with Salsa. You guys saw her from that other video, and I'm glad that she made an appearance in this one as well. Thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. A la prochaine, ciao ciao for now. So I learned a very, very valuable lesson today, and that is the French market is very different than the American market, and that like food is not always the best incentive. Um, in the U.S., I feel like that would have been like a very good point. Like, oh, cool, like you get a free cookie, you know, like that's nice. But here, they just didn't care, and that might have been part of the whole COVID thing. Yeah, major fail. So I did lose 15 euros in that regard. If I do another one of these garage sales in France, like never am I going to include like free food. Like they don't give a shit. Oh wait, hold on, <laughs> my mask. Oh, that was stupid. That's in like the best project. 30 euros for only 15 euros. Wait, I said that wrong.